Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Happy HQ Awards, or as some like to call it, the Best in Beauty for Lips. So today I'm just going to be sharing with you some of my favourite lip products that I've discovered or that I've just been using constantly this year. So yeah, let's just get into it I guess. So for lip balm, without a doubt it has to be the Nuke's Lip Balm, N-U-X-E is how the brand is spelt. They only have one lip balm I believe and this is honestly amazing. I have two of them, they are just so lovely and I just, I don't know what I'd do without them. They are so good. So before I get any further, I do want to just say that I'm not going to be specifying specific shades that I've loved, only because that does change so often depending on my mood. Like I own so many lipsticks, it would be unpractical for me to tell you guys, oh my god, I love this lipstick. Because seriously, it changes on a daily basis. So I'm not going to be telling you shades, but I am going to be telling you formulas. So, starting off with lip liners. A lip liner, I only own one of these, so I can't really tell you the whole range. But this is from Colourpop, and it is in the shade... Brills or Brills, I can't really read it properly, Brills. It is a purple shade, but seriously, I'm in love with their lip liners. They're so creamy and so pigmented. Definitely worth the five US dollars for them. Really, really good. And I definitely want to pick up a lot more the next time I do a ColourPop order. Um, another brand of lip liners that I have loved is definitely the Essence lip liners. These are very, very affordable. I think they're under $2 each. I think I own every single shade, but seriously, they are so so gorgeous and so easy to use and I just love them so much and then another one from the drugstore these are the L'Oreal lip liner couture by color reach um, I own the two more nudie shades but my favorite is definitely the Boyer D Rose number 302 these are amazing as well they glide on like a dream seriously amazing amazing lip liners and then my one high-end lip liner that I love, I own three shades of this now. This is the Too Faced Perfect Lips Lip Liner. This is in Perfect Spice. I also own Perfect Nude and I think Perfect Berry as well. Super, super creamy and just a really, really nice retractable lip liner to use on a daily basis or whenever you want to use it, a really, really good one. For jumbo lip pencils, I do have a few to show you guys. The first one is my absolute favorite. Um, this one is the Tarte Exposed. This is like the perfect My Lips But Better color. This is it here, and it's just the most amazing color. I love it so much. It does have a tingly feeling to the lips, so I don't really feel like it plumps my lips, but it definitely does have that tingling sensation. So I have been obsessed with the Bite Beauty, um, what's this even called? Matte Cream Lip Crayon. I only own one. This is in the shade Glaze, but I've used it so much. Like, it started to form a little nib, and that is the color of it there. It is absolutely gorgeous. They're just so quick and easy because they are retractable. So you just literally just like draw your lips on and you're good to go. There is a sharpener on the end as well if you want to use that. Just a really, really nice overall lip product. And then lucky last for giant lip crayons. These ones are the Sigma lip bases. I have the shades Euphoria and Mirth. Mirth I love. Mirth is this one and I'm going to swatch it for you because I love it so much. It's just so creamy. Like look at that. You need no pressure at all and it's so amazing. Um, I do have a link for Sigma down below if you're curious as to these lip bases. They're absolutely gorgeous, they're so creamy, so pigmented. And I actually feel like they do hydrate the lips quite a lot as well. I love them. For liquid lipsticks, Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks have definitely been a standout. This one's in the shade Lolita. I definitely want to pick up a lot more. I also own Backstage Bambi, but I want so many more of the shades. The only bad thing about these is they're always sold out. So frustrating, but they are gorgeous colors. And then these ones here are by Bourjois. These are absolutely gorgeous. They aren't like a liquid, they're more of like a mousse, but then they'll stain your lips and then they'll just stay colored all day long. I love them so, so much. For lip glosses, the L'Oreal Extraordinaire Lip Glosses have definitely been a standout for me this year. This one here is in the shade Nude Ballet and it is absolutely gorgeous. You can tell that I always pick out the nudes to swatch, <laughs> but that is it there. It's definitely a more pigmented gloss, and it's just really, really beautiful. I love it so much. I do own a few shades of that. And then, of course, the NYX. What are these called? These are the NYX Mega Shine Lip Glosses. These have been around for a very... Oh, my goodness. They just flung everywhere. Um, but, yeah, these have been around for a long time. There's a lot of old YouTube hype about them, not so much recently, but I really, really like them. It's just an everyday gloss. This one here that I'm swatching for you right now is called, 
what is this called? It's called Dolly Pink and it is so pretty. They are quite pigmented glosses. They're not the pigmentedest glosses in the world, but they do give a nice color to the lips. And then of course the Milani Liquid Color Lip Intense Lip Glosses. I have two shades. This one's in the shade Pink Rave. I'll swatch it for you guys. These are just very, very pigmented lip, lip glosses. They're very, very similar to OCC Lip Tars, but in better packaging. These don't dry matte, they definitely do stay glossy, but if you want a pigmented gloss, this is definitely where it's at. Moving on to lipsticks, I do have a few brands to show you. Of course, I have MAC. Um, MAC is probably one of my favorite lipstick brands of all time. I own so many of them. Um, I'm not gonna go swatching them just because there are so many, but yeah, MAC lipsticks have definitely been a standout this year. The NARS Audacious lipsticks have definitely been another kind of standout for me. This one here is in the shade Barbara. Really, really gorgeous nude shade. I love them so much. They are just hella expensive though. I've also loved these Smashbox, what are these called? Be Legendary lipsticks. Oh my goodness, this is in the shade Bing. I also own another one. I don't remember what that's called, but these are amazing. They last amazingly and they are just great. Now these, I hate how they smell and I hate how they taste, but they do have amazing colors and affordable prices. These are the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This one here is in the shade Cookie. I'll swatch this one for you. So that's Cookie there. I just, I hate how these smell, but they're amazing colors. So I like to top these off with a gloss just so they don't smell as bad. Um, this one here is Bossy. I think this is one of my favorites. And then this one here is Frida, which I'll swatch for you as well. But seriously, I own so many of these and I love so many of the colors. I just hate the smell so much. So ColourPop, please change the smell. I would be forever grateful. So the next price I want to show you guys is actually the Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipsticks. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, these have only been in my collection for about a month now, but I'm not even kidding you, I have been using them every single day since I got them. They are so pigmented, they last amazingly, they're so creamy, and there's so many colours in the range, and they are relatively affordable as well. Like, no joke, I will have one of these on my lips, I will eat, I will drink, and it will still be on my lips. It's like, what the hell? Like, I think I wore the shade... I wore the shade here, Game On, to Fran's birthday, and I think I wore it another night clubbing as well. I think I wore it to my little cousin's birthday the week after. And like, you can tell I've used this one because it's even started to form its little nib. Um, like, no joke, it lasted almost all night. I only touched up once, and that was like, I think I put on my makeup at around six o'clock, and I think I touched up my lipstick at like one o'clock in the morning. Like, Seriously, like we were eating pizza, we were drinking, we were dancing. It was so sweaty and so hot. Like literally half my foundation was off my face. Like I had a white forehead and the rest of my face was tanned. That is how hot I was and this stood through. No joke, this deserves all the credit and more. I really, really enjoy these. They're really good. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. Those are all the products that I have been obsessed with for lips for 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely check out my other two videos for Best in Beauty as well. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It seriously helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.